Hi again, everyone. Chris Tisdell here again. Thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> in this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos on matrices and linear systems of equations. And in the previous video, we talked about you know, what is a linear system, how do you transfer it to the matrix or augmented matrix setting. In this video, we're going to talk about row operations, simple row operations, simple ways of um, simplifying your augmented matrix. So we'll do a couple of examples. Let me share my screen with you. All right, so before we get to this, let's just recap um, a little bit about linear systems, right? So you might have a linear system like this. Oh, equals, uh, let's say, 2. Okay, so here the unknowns are x and y, um, and you can transfer this to an augmented matrix just by writing the coefficients of x as a column, the coefficients of y as a column, and the right-hand side as a column. Now, this, this line sort of plays the role of these equal signs, I guess. Okay, now, what we're going to learn how to do is look at these rows and work with these rows to see how we can simplify this augmented matrix and uh, make some conclusion about our systems. Okay? All right, so let's have a look at these row operations. Now, here's the most important thing. Whatever you can do to a linear system of equations, you can do as a row operation. Okay, so that's the, that's the most important thing. If you ever forget any of these things, you can always uh, go back to, to something like this. All right. So the following operations are called row operations. And what happens is, if you apply these, the, these row operations one by one, then the system, the solution set of the system will not change. So what you're doing, you're taking something complicated and you're reducing it to something simple from which you can make some sort of conclusion. And this is really important. We record our operations because it's easy to make a mistake with these uh, row operations, okay? So what are the types of row operations? Well, there are three. And remember that anything you, you can, anything that you can do to a, a set of simultaneous linear equations, a linear system, you can do as a row operation. So let me let me show you. Okay, you can interchange two rows, and for example, if you interchange the i-th row and the, with the k-th row, then this is how you record it with this little double arrow here you can multiply a row by a non-zero number alpha. And this is the way that you would record it. Row i equals alpha row i. And you can add or subtract a multiple of a row to another row. So if you wanted to add alpha times row k to row i, this is the notation you would use. Okay. That sounds a little bit complicated, but like I said before, you can break it down to linear systems. So let me just sort of justify that roughly for you. Okay, let's look at this linear system here. Interchange two rows. If I interchange these two equations, right, and write, this, write this one up here and this one down here, it's the same set of equations, okay? So that, that means I can interchange this row with this row, just flip them around, and I'm not changing the, the, the solution set to the system. Okay? All right, what about this one? Multiply a row by a non-zero number. Okay. If I take this equation here and I multiply both sides by 2, I'll get 4x plus 8y equals 2. That's the same equation as this one. I haven't changed it at all. So that means I can multiply this row by 2, and you get 4, 8, and 2, or this row by 2. Add a multiple of a row to another row. Okay, let's say I wanted to 
add this equation to this equation. So I add this part to the left-hand side, this part to the right-hand side. So I've added one times this equation to, to this equation. I'm adding equal parts to both sides of the first equation. So I haven't changed the equation at all. So this means I can say, add this row to this row. And I haven't changed the solution set. Now, to me, that is the easiest way of justifying these row operations. Whatever you do to a, a set of simultaneous linear equations, you can do as row operations. Now, it's really important to record the row operations because it's easy to, like if you do three or four or more row operations, it's easy to get lost, okay? So let's look at an example of how we do some row operations. Okay, here's an example. Perform the following row operations in order on this matrix, and you've got three operations. One, two, three. Okay, so let's work our way through that and see how it all works. All right, so the first operation is row two equals row two minus five row one. So we want to take row, row two, the second row, Remember, rows go horizontally, columns go vertically. We want to take row five. Uh, we want to take five times row one away from row two. Okay, so the way I like to do it is write it like this. Okay, so we write down our operation, and then I draw a long arrow, and then underneath that, I'm going to write my 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 new matrix. Okay, so what's changing here? The only thing that's changing is row two. So you can, if you want to, you can write in the other rows. Gets negative seven. And okay, so you do this in a component-wise fashion. Row two equals row two minus five row one. So it's this minus five times the entry above it. So it's five times five, five minus five times one, which is zero. Negative 11 minus, five times negative two. So that's negative 11 plus 10, which is negative one. Three minus five times one, negative two. Negative seven minus five times negative one. So that's negative seven plus seven, negative two. 13 minus five times three. So that's 13 minus 15, negative two. Okay, can you see how tedious it is? And it's easy to make a mistake, all right? So slow and steady is the way to go. All right, let's keep going. The next operation is in the new matrix, row three equals row three minus three row one. So we wanna take this row and minus three times that row from it. So this is the way I do it. and put this long arrow in, and then we have this new matrix. Okay, so uh, the only row that's gonna change is row three. Okay, so row three minus three times three one, so that's three minus three times one, which is zero. Negative eight minus three times negative two, so that's negative eight uh, plus six, which is negative two. One minus three times one, three, uh, one minus three, negative two. Negative seven minus three times negative one, so that's negative seven plus four, which is, uh, ne plus three, negative four. And five minus three times three, five minus nine, negative four. Okay, so that's a, that's a negative four there. Okay, one more operation to go and then we finished, okay? The last operation is row three equals row three minus two times row two. So we wanna take, we wanna um, work on this row and take away two times this row from that, okay? 
So this is how I would record it. Oops, two, row two. Okay, so what's going to change here, row three, so you can write in the other rows. All right, so you've got zero and zero there, so that's not going to change. Negative two minus two times negative one, so that's negative two plus two, which is zero. Negative two minus two times negative two, so that's negative two plus two, which is two. Negative four minus two times negative two, that's negative four plus two, zero, and same over here. Okay, so that's the three operations that we were asked to do, and uh, we've completed our operations. Okay, a little bit tedious, but just slow and steady wins the race in this. Now the good question here is, so, so what? We did some raw operations. So what? Okay, let's have a look at our matrix again. We started with this. And if this is an augmented matrix for a linear system, let's say the, the, the unknowns are x, y, z, and w. So, so the, the, the first row would, would represent 1x minus 2y plus 1z minus 1w equals 3, and so on. Okay. Now, if we go down here, we've got, what, what does the bottom row say? The bottom row says 0x plus 0y plus 2z plus 0w equals 0. So this simplified row, we can actually read off one of the unknowns if this represents some linear system. Z. This, this, this bottom row says 2 times Z equals 0. So Z equals 0. You can put that back into there and then get some expressions involving uh, Y and uh, W and then back substitute that into there. So we've actually done some sort of simplification on our, our augmented matrix and our and our system of equations okay basic row operations need to be careful the way you justify it is anything you can do to a linear system of equations you can do via a row operation anyway if you have any questions i'd love to hear them thanks for watching see you later bye